Oh my god. That is so sick. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It is a new week and a new month. This is Midnight at Horizon. We have all sorts of neon scattered all around the map, which we will go and check out today. Before we go and check those out, the Rimac Nevera is finally here. You might be saying, Nick, that's exactly the same car as the Rimac Concept 2. Wrong. The Rimac Nevera and the Rimac Concept 2 actually have very different stats in this game for some reason. Earlier today, I actually went in and tested the Rimac Concept 2 in a series of challenges. We are going to put the Rimac Nevera to the same challenges and see if it's any better. Before we get into that, obviously, we've got to unlock the new car. We need to get 20 points in the summer season. But again, before that, the Forzathon shop. The Forzathon shops are literally just getting worse and worse. We did it! Let's go! The 20 2021 Rimac Nevera versus the 2019 Rimac Concept 2. Take a look at the stats for both of these cars. Horsepower. The Rimac Nevera has six more. The Rimac Nevera also has more torque, but for some reason, it, it weighs 500 pounds more than the Concept 2. Although like on paper, the Rimac Nevera just seems like it would kind of be worse because it's so much heavier than the Concept 2. The PI is is considerably higher. So I honestly do not know what to expect from this thing. This has a drift mode and the rear wing actually comes up and down. Instead of doing some fun facts about this thing, because it's essentially the exact same car, let's go and see if it's any better. We are aiming for an 8.0 dead. We're gonna give it a whole bunch of attempts to see. Ooh, it's a bit slow off line. Wait, does the Rimac Nevera only have one gear? Oh, no. Oh, no. The Concept 2 has two gears. The Nevera only has one. I'm going to give it another go, but we're going to get exactly the same time. The Nevera might be taking an immediate L. There's the rear wing popping up. So not only is it heavier, but it also has more drag because of the silly rear wing. And it has one gear. So it's just straight up slower. Since we're gonna be on the drag strip, we might as well test the reverse top speed. Please be fast. You've, you've gotta beat 132. Yes! Yes! The Rimac Nevera gets a dub. Wait, 200 miles? 200 miles an hour backwards! Yes! So having one gear might have disadvantages for drag racing. However, it's a good thing if you'd like to go backwards quickly. Something to keep in mind for this test, it is not about the time, it is about the distance. We go and then as soon as we hit 200 miles an hour, we will brake and stop. And away we go. In track mode, get a little bit of wheel spin. There's the rear wing, already doing 100, 130, 140, 150. Oh, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, um... Oh my god, I hit 199. We fully cheated, and the distance... What's the distance? 674 yards! Boys, the Nevera sucks! 674 yards! The Nevera is getting so clapped. I know I said the Rimac Nevera was gonna be different to the concept too, but I didn't think it would be worse. <laughs> There's no way the Nevera is taking this massive L. 258. We need four miles an hour down the hill. If it's gonna get its top speed, this is where it's gonna be. Watch out for the- Oh my god. 259? The Nevera is an L. I'm gonna try drift mode and we'll see if it goes faster. 252, 253, 254. We're gonna do exactly the same speed. It's literally gear limited. 259 going up the hill. Yo, we might actually go faster. 260. It's faster in drift mode. No way. I have no idea why, but I'll take it. That makes no sense at all. My only assumption is that this thing produces way more downforce than the Rimac Concept 2, but there's not really an easy way to test that. So let's just go and do some upgrades and see if we can make this thing any better. No engine swaps, no drivetrain swaps for this thing. 
the only arrow we can do is swap on a front splitter. For my actual tires, we are on semi-slicks bone stock. Okay, we can upgrade them to full slicks. There's drag tires. We will come back to that in a second. Let's go on to full racing slicks, though, and make them very, very wide. Lovely. And we've got some engine spacers. We might have taken an L in the performance, but we are taking a dub in the customization. Lovely. All right, now we need some fancy wheels. Give me like some ADV ones, HREs, something that says I have more money than you. My drivetrain, the only thing that I can upgrade here is get a race differential on. If this thing cannot have weight reduction, the car is washed. Yes, we can get race suspension, rally suspension, and drift suspension. We will come back to that. Let's get race suspension to start. Anti-roll bars, front and rear. We weigh 4,700 pounds. 3,800 pounds. That's insane. An X-Class Rimac. Okay. Our final thing before we hit the open road, we need a spicy paint job. Yo, ton of advanced painting options for this thing. So again, we might have taken an L. But the upgrades are just a massive dub. Paint group number one is going to be the actual main body of the car. Sure, let's make that lime green. Group number two, that's going to be all of the carbon fibery bits. Okay, let's make that purple. We've accidentally making Barney. And then paint group number three is the rear wing and the cool little scoop. Okay, the bubblegum pink just looks awesome. I, I don't know why. Let's, let's carbon fiber those wing mirrors as well since we're here. And black out the wheels? Or maybe white out the wheels? Oh, white out the wheels. Where are all of the cool Horizon Midnight neons and stuff? I was lied to and bamboozled. Oh, man. Anyways, let's just go race this thing. And it's time to see if the Nevera is actually any good as a proper race car. Oh, my God. There is no grip. I've literally got the widest, grippiest tires that I could get. And the whole car just slides. We're not even that fast out of the corners, like all things considered. Like since we're an all electric car, you would have expected us to be like a rocket ship, but we're kind of not. The zero to 200 time is still just straight up ridiculous, but it's definitely not as mind-blowingly fast as I was expecting it to be. You know what we might need to do though? I know it might sound weird, but I think we might need to actually take this Rimac off-roading. I'm thinking off-road tires. We'll come back to that, though. Let's go. Let's push for these guys in the meantime. It's a Koenigsegg and a Zenvo. Come on. Reel them in. Reel them in. Now that I'm kind of learning how to drive it, though, it's definitely not bad. The rear wing is keeping us planted. But again, considering I've got full arrow, I was kind of just expecting more out of the thing. There we go. Up the inside. Up the inside. Beautiful moves. Past the Koenigsegg. See you later, Sonny. And across the line. Thank you, Rimac Nevera. That thing's good. That thing is very, very, very good. While we're waiting for the night to come, let's turn this thing into an off-roader. So say goodbye to the racing slicks and say hello to the off-road race tires. We'll give it a go. 1,900 horsepower. Come on, Rimac. Do me proud. Do me proud. Nice launch. Not bad. The rear wing is all over the place. Then go. Okay, send. It's terrible on road. Yes, we've got the neon things. Yes. All right, through the water, through the water. I mean, we are an electric car. We're going to... I am Richard Hammond. Richard Hammond has entered the building. Welcome. Let's just move on from that. Nothing to see. Let's just kind of push the AI out of the way if possible. I'm really, really good in the dirt and in the sand. That might be too fast. That might be too fast. No, don't push me, AI. I'm winning. Yes! Rimac Nevera! Is it the best car I've ever driven in this game? Absolutely, without a doubt, no. Is it a fun car that's good? Y yeah. Okay, that's too fast. No, it's not! The Rimac brakes are mental! <laughs> I am fully not used to dri driving off-road cars. <laughs> Apparently, neither is the AI. I am the least bad at driving a car that's this fast off-road. The Rimac Nevera. I take back what I said. 
is a monster. One does not simply present me with a drift mode and not expect me to test it. If I engage drift mode, then it'll become rear wheel drive and then it'll essentially become undrivable. So I'm thinking we're gonna need to keep it in race mode and just go all wheel drive and drag tires. I think that's straight up gonna be the only solution. Let's go into the drift zone and send it through. Oh, I might need to shorten my gears. Oh, or my gear, I should say. Oh, it's still really heavy. There's 100k though. It doesn't have that snap into the corner. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel good. Like that's a, that's a decent first attempt. Drift mode's actually gonna be worse for this, but if I didn't use drift mode, we, we would have to retire. Send it in. Oh yeah, it's rear wheel drive. <laughs> This is never gonna get that much score. Oh my god, it's so sketchy. Not even close. Drift mode, not good. Last attempt. The sun is finally setting. Send it through. Don't lose my points. Thank you very much. I'm not getting as much angle as I could be. But we're playing it safe. And I think we're on for a good score. Not too wide. Oh, I lost so many points there again. Beautiful line. Beautiful line. Couldn't ask for a better line. I mean, you could. But I won't. No, no, no. Oh, 224,000. Oh my God. That is so sick. That is so sick. Oh my God. All of the neons just look incredible out here. What? We need this all the time. We need, oh my God. Even all of the little drones in the sky. Look at those. Bruh. <laughs> we need this all the time. It's a fully middle ground car, and I don't know a better way to describe it. Is it crazy fast? No. Is it slow? No. Is it going to set you any records? Probably not. Is it another car in the game? Yeah.